While I'm keeping an eye on every player, Wiser controls every room. Rob, well, you talked last week about the importance of starting this block of games with a win. You did that at Bath, and um, now it moves on to Saracens, a real tough test again. Yeah, definitely. I, I, I kind of, I was, I was really pleased with the guys afterwards. You know, there was moments in the game where we, we put ourselves under some pressure, um, and actually, I, I think we could have been a little, a little bit better. And we've, we've looked at those areas today, but that, that this week, but that only took a few minutes, really, just a, a brief catch up on a couple of areas, a couple of things we could have done just around the tackle area, just get us back on our feet and back in the game a bit smarter. But when you actually look at what happened, you know, on the morning of the game, we lost another second. We lost another second where we Sean Lonsdale, who'd been calling line outs all week and um, and had been running that part of it. And then, you know, Sam Skinner coming back in on a short week was our other lock. He suddenly, he suddenly calling. Don Armand goes in for his first game at second row this season with no notice at all, really, just the morning of the game. So in the end, we pretty much end up with a pack fours that was, you know, pretty much all back rowers. Although, you know, Sam Skin is, is, a, is a lock six, really. Um, and we did pretty well. You know, we, we lost a couple of lineups, yes, but then we won, in, we won some very important ones and our scrum gradually grew in dominance. And, you know, when you, when you look at it that way around, it feels, it feels really good. And I think that's the thing we've probably all got to keep remembering is actually we're, we're battling away pretty well, not quite where we'd like to be. Uh, and, and particularly at home, not where we'd like to be, but but we're hanging in there, um, and we're, we've come through a tough period of the season for us. And now, as you say, we've got to look forward to really enjoying these next few games and, and getting stuck into some important fixtures. You spoke in the wake of it of the impact the bench made, and we saw that with the last couple of scrums. But you also talked about just what they feel at the time on the pitch, and the boys backed themselves, didn't they? Yeah, and it was interesting actually in our team meeting. A couple of them said, "Oh, we weren't getting many messages from the bench about whether to kick or whether, how to what to tap, whether to tap or whether to take the scrum." And we were talking about it on the bench, and we actually went, "We can't really tell them here because they'll need to feel this. They'll need to feel if they feel the scrum's the way to go. We kind of got to let them do it. They'll they'll know. They'll know whether they feel this is a really good time to score, whether they should take the points, and that's exactly how it turned out. You know, they they might have looked around for a second or two, but you could tell they knew what to do." Um, and that's that's really pleasing, you know, because it, I think that's what it's got to be like. It's got to they've got to feel the momentum of the game, and they've got to feel how it's going. And that's why I, I when I said during the game when we were taking shots at goal, you, you've kind of got to back them if they feel that's the way the game needs to go, and it's about staying in touch and building the scoreboard, then they'll normally be right, and that's what happened. There's obviously been a bit of history with Saracens in the past, but they've done their time, as you say. They're back and they're looking good. Yeah, definitely. I mean, listen, it's time to move on now, isn't it? And because, you know, it's a big fixture for us, running into Christmas, running into European games. You know, you turn up here now, the grandson over the far side looking nearly finished. You know, there's a lot. We've got to look to the future. You know, hotel down the bottom's nearly done. For us, it's about moving on. And, and the key thing to remember is if, you, if we want to move on and we want to be top end of the Premiership and potentially win the Premiership, you, you've got to do it with Saracens in the Premiership. You've got to, you know, you've got to relish these occasions. Um, but that's why you should play in the Premiership. It's why you should be a player, to enjoy the big fixtures, enjoy, enjoy playing against really good players um, and enjoy playing in pressure, pressure scenarios. You know, Saracens are brothers in the league. They want the points and they want to stop us having the points and it's the same for us and we've got to play like that. Away from home, you've been really good. Have you said anything about home form to the guys again this week? And no, because it? it's, it's not... I, for me, it's not really been home form and I know that sounds a bit strange. It's been consistency. So what's happened is we've gone away and we've, and we've kind of desperately needed points and we've known we've had to fight and we know nothing's going to come easy and those away, fi those away fixtures, we spend a fair bit of time together on the bus, a fair bit of time at the hotel and you can feel the players getting into like a, like a real competitive bubble. And I think what's happened is then, you know, that, that, that has then got kind of released by the victory and we haven't quite regained that for the home fixture. So it's... it's you could say if the fixture had fallen the other way round and we'd had those real big wins at home, those real tight games and come through them, we might have underperformed away. I think it's a little bit just the way it's game by game has come because it's our consistency that's actually let us down a little bit. Not, not so much, like I say, a home form away form. And I think that's, that's what we've got to just keep fighting for. And that's, that's the thing we've got to battle for. And that's why I want us to enjoy the day by day, week by week. And I'm hoping that will address that ups and downs we're having a little bit at the moment.
And the squad's looking a lot thicker, as you say, to the media today. Yeah, we're just starting to get guys back. We've got, obviously, more international players back and they've now been training for a couple of weeks and integrated into the squad. Um, Johnny Gray's training fully this week. Luke Kern Dickey's in, in full training. So, you know, they, we're just starting to thicken out a little bit, which is obviously very pleasing. And from a coaching perspective, these are the games you, you relish, aren't they? The big occasions like this, as you say, full house here at the weekend. Yeah. Time to go now. Definitely. And, I, I, you know, it's it's the run into Christmas. The weather looks OK. The pitch is, pitch is holding up fine. You know, there's no reason not to come to Stanley Park and have a fantastic day. And, and our job, first and foremost, is to, is to give them really something to get behind. And I, I say this to people all the time, it's not about winning, necessarily winning and losing, it's about, but it's about playing with real emotion and real drive and real energy. And, and that's been very much our focus all week.